Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing number 17. So the question says, which of the following are the roots of x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0? So you might try factoring this out at first um, just by other techniques that you've learned, but you're going to figure out that this isn't going to factor out nicely. So what we do instead is we are going to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says that x, oops, that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this here stands for the x coordinate of the root or roots, I'll put roots. Um, now let's talk about what a, b, and c equal. a is equal to the constant out in front of this x squared, so in this case a equals one. b is this number here in front of the x, so that's minus five, oops, minus five, and then this number here is going to be your, your c value. So c is equal to minus 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill, fill in these numbers, and we're going to solve for x. So minus b is going to be 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 2 all over... 2 times 1, which is going to be 2. So now we're going to get 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 plus 8, because you have negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times a negative 2 is plus 8. This is all over 2. So further simplifying, we're going to get 5 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 2. I'm going to go ahead and write this over here. 5 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 2. So, and that's x equals. So what this actually means is that you're going to have two different values of x. So you're going to have a positive root and a negative root. Um, actually, I'm sorry, they may not be negative. Um, actually, I could tell you. Let's see, the square root of 33 is about... A little under 6. So yes, there would be a positive and negative root. So your positive root is going to be x equals 5 plus the square root of 33 over 2. Your negative root is going to be x equals 5 minus the square root of 33 over 2. And then obviously if you needed to find the point, your y value would be 0 because this is the place where it crosses the x-axis. So but this here is your answer right there. Okay, well, I hope that helps you guys. Um, this is a quadratic formula problem if you need to do any practice problems to get a little bit better at it. Um, but I am a math tutor and my email is in the description if you would like to set up some Skype tutoring or in-person tutoring in the Los Angeles area. All right, thanks for watching.